success. The Jazz just unable to make much noise in the playoffs. Credit the front office for coming to terms with it and pivoting to a rebuild while they could get top value for their stars. You know, when Markman's in this deep, um, he should be dunking it every time. Back to Markkinen. Beyond the arc. Oh, yes, he did. Five up, five down. He's certainly been cold this quarter, guys, but trying to shoot his way back into a groove. Beasley trying to break free. Anderson. Left side, Markkinen. And Markkinen throws it down. So much fun watching Markkinen catch fire like this. He's a capable, efficient scorer who does it at a high rate. Here's Markkinen. Makes it off the glass. Markkinen's got some Markkinen. Clock at six. Over Walker. And that one's good. Markkinen. Markkinen's grill is fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points. Moves on. Here's Markkinen. Uses the glass on the layup. Give him eight points now. And Doris, last season, only five NBA. You can run the offense and play LeBron at point guard. If you're open, he will find you. Walker against Markkinen. Shoots over Walker. And that one's good. Markkinen. Markkinen's got... Walker against Markkinen. Six on the shot clock. Fires the three. Pure from three-point range. Just five on the clock. Pulls up. Markkinen, good. And the team... That three off the mark. Looks like the game plan is they're willing to give him that kind of shot. It worked out for them this time, but if they give it to him again, I, I bet three points are coming. They've given up a lot of three. Outside, marking it. Pass to Horton Tucker. Back to Markkinen. Good on the triple. And the Jazz lead by 18. Yeah, they've only missed one out of their first five shots here in the Let go of the rope. Giddy, no one around him. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. That elite passing ability, Giddy has the defense on its heels and it gives him space to operate in the mid range. What an impressive job. Just about ready to get this one started. First, let's hear from Allie LaForce. Take a look at the starters for the Utah Jazz. Mike Conley out there with Jordan Clarkson. Then it's Kelly Olynyk. Then it's Laurie Markkinen. And it's Vanderbilt in at the power forward position. And for Minnesota, the Bats have gotten off to a perfect 4-for-4 four four start of the second. Conley passes to Markkinen. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. Gradually starting to put pressure on this defense. That's his second from downtown. Here's Russell. No good there. His inability to make shots has not brought this team down. That shows you their resourcefulness. Marketed from long range. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about it. Two important players that have already had a tremendous impact on this team. And Anderson over to help. Count it. Good. Marketed's got 16 points now. Outside Conley. To take the lead. Oh my! What a shot! And so it's Utah who scraped by with the win. And this was right to the bucket. Zubac the pass to George. It's deflected. I think this is the next step for Markin and right? The ability to improve your defense and become a real factor. Sent it back. There's the three, and the Jazz on nothing from Leonard. Mann's got five points now this quarter. Well, this is one aspect of his game where Kawhi Leonard has come such a long way. The ability to make guys around him better with his passing. Good. And the Jazz. Trying to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Marking it into the lane. Basket number eight for him on 13 